Meantime, Cheryl Wood describes herself as your average woman, someone who manages a home, a family, and a career. Five years ago, she did something many of us wish we could do. She walked out of her job, and today she's a successful motivational speaker. CTV Sonia Shavasva has more. What I'm today is not money. It is relationships. Meet Cheryl Wood. She's confident, she's engaging, and she's living her dream. Ladies, this time is still out of the field. But just five years ago, her life was totally different. She was stuck working as a legal secretary while raising her three children. Somewhere she knew there was a bigger calling. There was just something that was tugging at my spirit that wanted more. And primarily as a mother of three, I wanted to be able to walk my kids up to school at the start of the day and be able to pick them up when school ended. Wood says becoming a motivational speaker happened by accident. Started this little itty bitty t-shirt business out of my basement. It was called Moms Are the Best. I did that 18 months into the journey of doing that part time on the side on the weekends. I get a phone call unexpectedly from someone at Morgan State University. They said, Miss Wood, we heard about you and this t-shirt business that you're a mommypreneur. And we're having a conference with about 200 to 300 women. We want you to come and teach other moms how to start businesses. And I burst out laughing and said, you must have the wrong number because I wasn't a speaker. That wasn't even on my radar. And so it began the PTIO movement, an acronym for Playtime is Over, which she says represents a movement to get people off of autopilot and into living the life they want. Today, her calendar is filled up. She speaks to large crowds across the United States. Wood was recently recognized by the organization American Mothers for all her hard work. Generally, what I'm sharing is my core message, that you can become anything you want to become, that you can strive for bigger, and you can achieve bigger in your life, in your career. You're in control. Wood's enthusiasm is contagious, so much so that her 11-year-old daughter is following in her mommy's steps. Gianna wrote a book when she was nine and now travels with her mom on occasion and speaks to large groups about being positive as well. I want kids, mostly kids, to know that they can do what they want to do at a young age. They don't have to wait until they're older to do what they want to do. They can try to accomplish their dreams now. Wood says there were lots of ups and downs, but in the end, she wanted to create a legacy, something her children can be proud of. Cannot give up. You must press on. You must be persistent. You must be assertive, bold, courageous. You must have audacity to go for what you want, to tell others what you want. For CTV News, I'm Sonia Shervasva.